Hi there, I'm Pastor Steve from the Revived Charleston Campus of Faith Church. And I want to come today uh, just to share with you about how to soften your heart for the lost. And so I want to start right out the gate with a, a scripture verse. This is uh, Romans 15, 18 through 19. Yet I dare not boast about anything except what Christ has done through me, bringing the Gentiles to God by my message and by the way I worked among them. They were convinced by the power of miraculous signs and wonders and by the power of God's Spirit. In this way, I have fully presented the good news of Christ from Jerusalem all the way to Illyricum. So evangelism is what we're talking about, and I want you to know soul winning is easy. It's not hard. A lot of times we think it's hard. So I learned a long time ago from a mentor of mine, it's kind of like a quarter. So when you're thinking about going out and touching the lost, you got to remember, just like a quarter has a heads and a tails, uh, people in the street are going to either like you, that's the heads part, or they're going to hate you, that's the tails part. So you got to remember, it's both. It's going to happen. You're going to face these types of people. But God commands us to go anyway. And, and he does it in a way where, as Acts chapter 1, verse 8 says, that we shall receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon us to be witnesses. Well, that power, it gives us the ability to be able to go out there and share the good news of the gospel. And so you're thinking now, I've got to share the good news. I've got this power. But then you've got to have compassion. And compassion, the Bible says that Jesus was moved with compassion when he saw the lost or the hurting. And that's what we have to do. We have to be moved with compassion. Proverbs 11:30 says it like this, he that wins souls is wise. That means you have to use wisdom. And, and, and winning souls is easy, it's not hard. Evangelism to me is like drinking coffee in the morning when you get up, it's that easy. And so I want you to know that use the tools that you have. Don't try to be someone you're not. Be who God's called you to be. So when I'm out in the street, I talk about wrestling. I used to be a professional wrestler. And so I use that as a way. I'll tell people, look, I might hit you with a chair and then pray for you to accept Jesus. Now, I'm just joking. I don't tell them that. But we get into the conversation, and I try to let them see that I'm a real person, that I'm not somebody that's, you know, uh, from just from heaven floating down to talk to them about God. But I'm a real person, and so I try to share that with them. And then I also do things like Operation Go, as you guys know, with the green truck. And man, I love to throw water balloons at people. That is huge. God showed me that years ago. Throw water balloons, give out candy and prizes, and tell people about Jesus. That's what I'm telling you. Evangelism is not hard. It just takes a willing vessel, and it takes someone who has compassion, full of power through the Holy Spirit, and you can do it. But there's three things that, that I think stifle evangelism and soul winning, and here they are. A defeated attitude. You say, you know what, it's too hard, I can't do it. Well, I'm here to tell you, anybody can do it. This is something that's not just for a few of us, but this is for all of us. According to the Great Commission, we're supposed to go into all the world and preach the gospel. That's, that's what we've been commanded to do by the Lord. The second thing that defeats us is a discouraged attitude. We look at it and we say, well, but people didn't accept Christ. Well, you know what? That happens all the time. Remember I said like the quarter, some are going to like what you're saying on the head side and some are not on the tail side. Don't forget that. Let that sit in your soul. It'll make it a whole lot easier for you to witness for the Lord when you're in the community. And then the last thing is a disappointed attitude. We give up way too easy. Man, you have the, the Spirit of God on the inside. You don't have to worry. God is there. And if He's for you, who can be against you? And no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So you don't have to go out in fear. You don't have to be afraid. You definitely don't have to be defeated, discouraged, or disappointed. But you can trust God. And I just want you to know today that it takes one last thing. So the first, you got to have power. you got to have compassion. And then the last thing is you got to have boldness. you got to be bold. You can't back up, back off, sit down, and be quiet. You've got to say with a loud voice, Jesus is Lord. You've got to tell them that in some way. Remember, it could be through wrestling or it could be whatever God uses you uh, or has in your life for you to be able to present because you got to be a real person when you're soul winning because people can see through fake. They can see through phony. Don't just do it because someone's telling you to. Do it because it really moves you with compassion to share your faith with the lost. Can I pray for you right quick? Father, I thank you today, Lord, that uh, you're going to give us a zeal for your house again. I thank you, Lord, that you're going to give us passion for the lost. You're going to help break our hearts, God, for those that are lost in our neighborhoods and in our communities. Lord, I pray right now that you would give us um, 
the ability to go and soul win so that we can reach people, Lord, that need to be reached with the gospel. And then, Lord, I just thank you that you're going to give us the, the passion and the desire to see people changed, the joy that comes with soul winning. Lord, what an awesome thing for us to see people change right before our eyes. Make it a priority in our lives. Help us to use signs and wonders, even if it takes that, for us to see and for others to see that you're there working and to convince them that you are the only way. Father, we love you today. We thank you for putting this in our hearts. Give us this passion to reach the lost. We give you the honor, the praise, and the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, what a powerful thing. When you're a soul winner, you're not afraid, you're not ashamed. You have power, you have compassion, and you have boldness. One last thing I want you to do, I want to challenge you to pray about that. Pray and seek the Lord this week and let him talk to you about what it is he wants you to do and how he wants you to soul win. It may be buying a coffee for someone one morning. It may be you just saying hello and starting a conversation. Whatever it is, go out there, talk to people. I believe God's called us all to soul win, and I think we can do it. Again, I want to say thank you for letting me come today. God bless you guys, and we'll see you soon.